Hi, hello. Vampire vibes today. So please send me your best thoughts. Everybody cross your fingers. Whatever you think is going to benefit our ends today. Vampire stuff. I need it. Would love it. All right. So, last we left off, I think we were in front of an owlbear cave. We're not sure it's an owlbear cave, but we know that somebody got mauled in the vicinity. And there's a big cave, so that's my assumption. But first, we need to go and sell. Uh, because I forgot how uh, encumbered we are. And uh, Shadowheart can only carry so many pieces of leather armor. All right, oh, my beloved. Oh, look at him. Look how pretty he is. You again. Is it like, you know sometimes when you like spam click on an NPC in a game and like after a certain number, they just get pissy with you? I feel like they have programmed that in here and they're like, this girl won't stop. Leave this man alone. And I'm just like crying in a corner. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't mean to be a bother. I just love you. Okay. Who knows how long it'll take these folks to get their own foot. If they make it. They're slow, vulnerable. Half or more will die long before Basilisk Gate. Doesn't seem to trouble you a jot. What good would it do for me to be troubled? We can't save them all. Now, I'm pretty positive we have a scroll of Speak With Animals, which I think is really important to make sure we've got before we do Albear things, uh, because I would love to speak to Albear rather than murder Albear. I want to have a word. <gasps> Wait, Trap Disarm Toolkit. Actually, we do need these. So is this 165 per, or is this 165 for the stack? Okay, for the stack. That's not outrageous. We've got 800. Actually, let's grab some thieves tools while we're here. Amazing. We've done it. Now, we did our selling. We've got our potion. There was like, there's this, exactly. There's this area that we hadn't yes. explored, which I keep like, swing and swing. oh, that's why I keep walking by. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to talk to these people. We're going to do speak animals, talk to this, and then we're going to go back to the owlbear. How's that sound? I'd die if I met heroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. <gasps> Hello? <gasps> yeah, you guys want to see the kitty? I have something to ask. Oh, uh, right. Uh, go for the heart. You, you got it, baby. You're doing your best. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. You tell him, little guy. Can't keep the goblins out forever. <sighs> this is boring. We should train against real goblins. Sweetheart, you're just Abigail. a baby. Swing, Calm down. swing, and oh. go on. Give me a best shot. Oh, not bad. Again. Oh, I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. So sweet. I feel like I'm like the nicest drow. Cause I'm not playing into a lot of the like underdark stereotype. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your the man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. 
You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. I noted the three claw marks that come from his eye down to beneath his ear and the eye. I'm not familiar with his mercenary company though. I do love how Will is just being an absolute sweetheart. Another escapee. Thank the gods. I need all the friends I can get. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. For real. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. So interesting. Also, I've always pronounced it illithid. Guess I've just never heard it pronounced illithid. A devil's advocate. Do you think she'll bring the blood war to Faerun? That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Oh. So, of course, like, there are some spoilers I cannot escape. And so I know who Karlek is, but I didn't know that she was connected like this. I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, Absolutely. when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. I think this man's a warlock, question mark? I think he used Eldritch Blast and the battle before the gates leading into the Druid's Grove. You can always go to my camp and wait for me. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. <gasps> Look, I love how the kids love the cat. That's so cute. Can we? Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? Can she say hello? Oh, true. Wouldn't it be sweet if we could be the cat and react to these children? Let them like pet us. It'd be so cute. Swing and swing. Okay, okay. We haven't talked to these two, so let's get that out of the way real quick. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Of course, of course. Yes, yes, let's do elf shit every time. Elf shit. You must outsmart and outmaneuver. Your greatest weapon is your cunning. <laughs> They're so Thanks. Cute. I prefer when they smile. It's so sweet. Last one. Step. Harry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. You'll get it. Interesting technique. Are you having some trouble? Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. <sighs> no wonder you're struggling. You've no balance. Space your feet farther apart, like this.
Let's do it. Oh, come on, we got this. Okay. It's <laughs> worried for just a hot second. I'll I'll try and brace them better, um, like so. Step, brace, parry, swing. Yes. <laughs> you really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. W one last thing. Don't. <laughs> Don't shout out your moves like that. It spoils a surprise for your foe. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Keep training. In time, you'll make short work of any goblins. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. Oh, shit. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Ooh, we got a battle axe. Thanks, dude. Swing so there's a baby over here. Wait. Have we Wait. talked to this? We'll have to do our potion and talk to them. One more time. But I never got into the little kid pile. Oh. We'll hide out. Oh, are you the one who doesn't really talk? Mm. Yeah. Oh, we've got new stuff. Where the hell did you disappear to before? Oh my gosh. We might have it, we might have it. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. Mm. Oh. Watching his hands, you realize he's miming opening something. Is it a chest, a door? Can you show me where it is? We get any more bonus? I'm not gonna charm this baby. He's he's being very sweet, and it's just a ten. We've got this. Whoa, these rolls! He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Oh, hey, thank you for showing me the door. <laughs> Hello. Mm, 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 mm. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Oh no. Oh. Maybe he has a bad history with drow. Poor baby. I'm sorry, mm. little one. Okay, so, a hatch opened up somewhere. It's right there! <sighs> it's their little hideout. How cute! So... Oh! We gotta do some acrobatics. Ready. Can I... How far can I jump? Can I do that? Hold on, hold on. Let's get to the closest point. You know what? I don't have to be the one jumping, by the way. So, s what's the modifier? Is it strength? Shadowheart, I think that There's no that time to be waste. you? Definitely not. I know we have a potion of fly, but I don't know how good the loot is over here. <laughs> and I don't know if it's worth it. So we'll leave it there for now. We know it's there. Look how cute. What are you doing down here, babies? So they have this path up. So this is the one I can't get through. All right. So we've just got children to talk to. What's up with discussion? Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. I heard you help Melly with that locket. I owe you for that. 
And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. I'm... happy to help. And we're happy to be helped! Now, what can I do for you? I love this little child so much. So, uh, my half drow, half moon elf, my arcane trickster, Alorinel, runs a little band of uh, orphans, urchins, outcasts in Waterdeep in the module uh, uh, Dragon Heist. And uh, this is giving me those vibes. I So you might need help with something. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. An idol? What, what do you think you'll do with something like that? The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? Why are you running all these schemes and swindles? It's risky, you know. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? I feel like Belle would be pretty amused by this. Especially growing up drow. Like, do what you want. Quite the opposite. I want to invest in the nearest thieves guild on the Sword Coast. Won't turn down free money. I've got operating costs you wouldn't believe. Baby. Come see me in the city sometime, huh? I'll repay this and then some. See you around, maybe. Precious. Tiny and criminal. Oh, selfie baby. Oh. Hello again. Um... Mole's in charge here, not me. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wanted to see if I could check on them. Okay, so we're not going to steal their stuff. But I can read the book, right? They are the tiniest criminals. They do want the kitty. It's so cute. Oh, God, it's killing me. So speaking of, um, I do have the most terrible penchant of... Adopting too many NPCs in, like, every tabletop game I've ever played in my whole life. So when we went through the Curse of Strahd the second time through. So Merlin changed up a little bit of the way that it works so we could play it again with a different interesting twist. I had adopted... There's, there's one kid... There's, I'm just going to be really vague so the people who've played the module know what I'm talking about. But the people who haven't are not going to be spoiled. Meat Pie Kid. Um... Kid in the church, Arina, and what is her brother's name again? I can't remember her brother's name. They're the kind of children. I think Arina's like 18. Her brother's a little older. Yeah, I just, I have a really bad habit of there are people in need, and I'm like, shh, 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 it's okay. Let me take you on our adventures with us now and make sure you're safe and fed and happy. And then poor Merlin gets stuck. Like, with We're going to <laughs> seven now. NPCs in our group that he has to play. Like, I'm, I'm exaggerating, obviously, because it's funny. But Strahd, I definitely had quite a few. You don't look so tough. Mole thought of a hobgoblin all by herself. Um, that's cool for her. Okay, I'm going to try to read this book and... Hold on, let me save first. I want to read the book, but I don't want them to get upset with me. Here goes nothing. We gotta stand we on the crate to read it. Gotta get on our little soapbox. All right. The book's central argument is encapsulated in a chapter devoted to Real Surreal, Guild Kingpin of <gasps> Kalimshan! Ah, oh, yes. Amazing. 
In another time and another place, Rosa Rael would be celebrated as a revolutionary in Baldur's Gate. In her own lifetime, she's known as a crime lord, a kingpin of the guild ruling over the city within a city that is the district of Little Kalimshan. Rosa's story began when she was orphaned at a young age. Her father was hanged by the Flaming Fist. I am familiar with that mercenary group. For sheltering his fugitive brother. Soon after, her mother was denounced by the jealous it's wife of a patriarch coming. and imprisoned in the sea tower where she perished. Alone in the world, she had learned two valuable lessons. When the law is corrupt, it is a necessity for those without the support of its enforcers to act outside it. And when the law is brutal, it is an ethical duty to act against it. Operating from within the Callum Jewel Emporium, Rilsa knows the value of everything and everyone that moves through Baldur's Gate. She controls a wide network of agents who observe and track the exchange of goods and information as closely as any merchant or politician. But second-hand knowledge is cheap. Rilsa's real trick is to draw those with secrets to share directly into her orbit. At her garden of whispers, information can be shared with the guild anonymously. Anyone with a grudge to bow, a competitor to bring low, that is to say, anyone of importance, can ensure that the whole city knows their grievance. It is said that if someone speaks of your weak spot in the garden at dawn, you can expect to find a knife buried in that God exact spot boring. before night falls. Yeah. Alright, we're not going to steal their stuff. We can't even look in their mirror. But I can read another of their books. And talk to this child. Or not? Can I talk to child, please? Thank you. You're blocking my light. Oh. Oh, I remember you. You're the one who helped me get away. You want something? Well, you just here to stare at my forehead. Baby. <laughs> Honey, sweetheart. Tell me the truth. That adventurous locket. Do you have it? Look, if I had it, would I tell you? This entire conversation is a waste of our time, don't you think? Buddy, I helped you. Now find yourself a maze and get lost. I'm busy. <sighs> Rip. We're doing our best. He's doing his best. <gasps> Wait. Secrets? No, it just kind of looks, wait, just kind of looks like death. Yeah, that's probably just death. The maze line is pretty good. It is pretty good. Look at their little loot stash, their teddy bear. Oh, it's so cute. What tiny precious babies. And they are obsessed with the cat. It's so cute. Can we talk to Zaki and Melly? I think what we have left to do is read that book, yeah? And then we can leave these portal things alone. All right. There were once two sisters, one a great fighter and one a great cleric, who longed for new adventure. I shall skewer an elder brain upon my sword, cried the fighter, to the Underdark. We'll learn about elder brains later. I'm really, I love that they brought this up. Very quickly, elder brains are like, you know how we were talking about Illithid hive minds? It, it is the, the center of that. The one kind of controlling of sorts. I wish to know the secrets of the brain's powers, said the cleric. Let us be off. In the recesses of the deep. Gods, it's boring in here. The sisters slew darklings and Daryl, bugbears and bullets. The two reached an illithid colony where the fourth ten day passed. Their quest would soon be complete. With great effort, they fell the half dozen mind flares and soon reached the other brain's lair. It rose from the brine pool at the centre of its chamber, flanked by illithids. The brain didn't speak aloud, but the sisters could hear it in their minds. I am called Cause. Why have you come? I will make your powers my own, called the cleric. I will crush you and bring an end to your tyranny, said the fighter. Remember, this is... When we met Asterion, he said he wanted to control it. And the rest of us are trying to destroy it, as far as I know. Not long until we leave now. So it's kind of illustrating our own divide here as a party. 
The brain hovered in silence. A moment later, a burst of psionic energy shook the chamber, and the sisters lay dead. Good luck, Coase replied. The illithids feasted heartily that day. Which is the real outcome of all of this. <laughs> I need new pockets to pick. I don't think people understand how powerful illithids really are. And I think that's a good example of kind of what we're up against. Wait, hold on. You can get to these platforms up here. Where does this lead? Hold on, we gotta check it out. We gotta check it out. Can't keep the goblins out forever. This is no fortress and we're no warriors. He's the lookout. That's what it is. Okay, so now we've got to do speak with animal things. So we're going to take our potion. Let's get talking to animals. Here we go. Oof. The deed has been done. All right. Strange ox. Ah, you're addressing me, a humble ox. How quaint. So let's add guidance. Woof, yeah. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. I crit that role. Tell me. There's more to you than meets the eye. Do you care to explain? No. You are incapable. What? Come on, old chap. I'm a devil for gossip. Give it to me. What is he? I need to know. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. No. That's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this. Moo. Huh. Tick tock. Funny. How is the cow even more suspect? How? Let's talk to the others. I need a quick word. Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Or rocks. What are you talking about? The keepers of this place. They change their form to fit their need. They become birds to hunt on the wing. Bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay. And I cannot even eat it, because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Are the kiddos stowing trinkets away in there? Shiny bits? The tieflings put something in your hay? Hiding things, thinking they're clever, not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits, and they have to go looking for them on the other end. <gasps> no. Now can we, can we investigate the hay though? What, you can't tell me stuff like that and then not let me, not let me look. Oh, but there's this haystack. Okay, okay. Oh, the waiting's getting to me. Be gone. I am hungry. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's check the hay. A pouch. A simple bag fashioned from a single piece of rough burlap. Nice. So. So, it's got an agate, a fine stone for carving often found at the base of volcanoes, and some gold. Hey, we'll treat. 
now we just have an extra bag, I guess? All right, so we did this. We did our speak with animals here. Did we get everything else? I'm gonna save. And then let's go deal with our owlbear. Let's head back to camp so we can chat with our new friend. Good to know, good to know. <gasps> now we have a new camp. This is so cool. Oh, withers? Bro, what are you what are you doing at camp? We meet again as predicted. Well, it's because you're following me. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. I'm so glad she's asking the important questions here. She's asking the important questions. Not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. We're going to focus on the divine energy you feel from his presence to try to get a better idea of what's going on. Oh, we don't have it. Wow. Oh, we can use inspiration. We've got three. Okay, let's do it. Let's do one. Fine. There is a great divine energy indeed, but the source is unclear. You were sorting something before. What were you doing? Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. Interesting. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Wait, like, hired? Yeah. Impressive. Are there other ways that you can help us? Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Oh! That's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. All right. Oh, look, you can change your class for... A hefty hundred gold? You mentioned a cost. What is it? A matter of coin. All right. I'm not going to say that's outrageous because this man is, he's pricing his wares. It's not my business to tell him. If that's what he feels like his time and energy and expertise is worth, that's on him, right? We respect artists. We respect small business owners and creators. I don't want to talk about hirelings because I have enough friends right now. So, see you later. Thanks, bud. This strange wraith, okay, we're gonna call him a wraith, commands many powers. He allows you to resurrect allies, hire help, and change your class for a price, of course. Oh, we just have stuff here that we can loot? Or can I put things in it? Because that actually might be pretty useful. Look, I just have a bunch of books. I love that. I like how we're just accessing the books from behind this thing. Cool. Shadow Heart. Where's my favorite, though? Can we talk some more? So, 
We're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Oh, no, that's it? I die. He's so great, but we can't talk about anything. The saddest. Oh, is this... Oh, Lazelle, your stuff's... In okay. I mean, I, you can decorate with whatever you want to. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Well, that's not going to happen. We will find a cure. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed. This is good news. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Oh my goodness. Thanks for the pep talk, Lizelle. <laughs> yeah, we've all we've all had mornings like that. Oh, oh. Do I just get to explore this area? How cool. We've got friends to talk to though. First things first. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. How does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hells? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus. As my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the archdevils, Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. Well, uh, who is this source of yours? A powerful friend with a keen interest in privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. That's valid. Well, then let's move on to other matters. All right. Anything more we should discuss? Tell me, Will, how do you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle. But I remember drying the boy's tears after. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to walk that fine balance of not playing too goody-goody, um, as I am wont to do, but still channeling some of that drow. Whatever became of the boy, I wonder? I left him with his uncles. Five years on and he's flourishing. 
If only every child was so lucky. I mourn the ones I could never save, whose cries I never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. <sighs> Chilis would be eating this shit up. And before that? Baldur's Gate, born and raised, the only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama. <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. He's so nice. He seems very sweet. I don't suppose you've come across an expert healer in your travels? <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics. But none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. That's right. We should pay her a visit. We also need to go and visit Ethel. I've noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Ah, oh, I don't want to, like, creep on the man. I wish we could at least ask for permission first. Be like, hey, do you mind if I... <sighs> Here we go, being a rude ass. We're going to lean in and examine the eye a little bit more closely with our cleric magic. Tiny grooves spider across the eye's surface. It resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. I didn't know that you can just kind of enchant anything. I mean, I guess you just imbue an object with sending and then anything can really be a sending stone, you know? Isn't your eye a sending stone? A uh, sending stone? <laughs> Nothing so special, I assure you. His breathing quickens, his jaw tenses. Will is keeping something from you. A strange and sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. No, 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 we're gonna be respectful. Like, we already called him on it. Like, we know he's keeping it from us, and we know it probably is a sending stone. I don't want to pry into his mind, and I certainly don't want to use illicit powers to do so. All right, then. Let's change the subject. Gladly. Anything more we should discuss? <sighs> I think it'd be fun to have him in our party. So let's go. Politely check in with Shadowheart. Because we just got Gale, too. Look at that stone bed. Ooh, a table. Is there anything in, in it? Nothing. Totally fine. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Not always devils, friend. Fay packs. Chef's kiss. Okay. So. I do love how we've put up these little flags and stuff. It's very sweet. Can we, like, fish or anything? Or is it just shit that we find? Oh, look. Invasion plans for the sword coast. How did I miss that? Let's see. This map of the Sword Coast sprawls from the deep forests of Tithir to the frigid spine of the world. Its topography worn by ancient ink and the constant trade between mortal hands. I love that. Okay, where was... I love how she's, like, out here by herself. Oh, and there's more places. Is this, is this my little hut? Oh, I like how she has plants. It's very pretty. The Blade of Frontiers. That's 
hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. <sighs> Shadowheart, I'm so sorry to do it to you. I really am. I think you're great. But I want to hang out with Will a little bit, if that's cool. We should journey separately for now. I'll look for you here, if I need you again. If you're sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Shadowheart, please. Please, babe. I'm... <laughs> I'm just trying to get to know everybody. Well met. I'd like you to join me. That's the spirit. Now we get to level him. Defender of the people. Look, I love Shadowheart. I do. She's wonderful. But I can I only have so many slots for party people. I only have so many. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Spells. Let's see. Hex, very cool. Witch Bolt, also very cool. A hellish rebuke, yes! Expeditious retreat. Okay. Burning Hands is... It's so... Right on the money, but I think we need to do Witch Bolt. Lightning damage. Oh, but it does more damage. 1d12 is 3d6. Okay. Yeah, maybe we do that. Eldritch Invocations. In your study of occult lore, you have unearthed Eldritch Invocations, fragments of forbidden knowledge that imbue you with an abiding magical prowess. <gasps> Beast speech? Oh, we have to. We have to. We've been looking for this. Oh my god, when you cast Eldritch Blast, add your charisma modifier. Look at this man's charisma. He's almost as charismatic as I am. I think he might be more, but... Beguiling influence. Oh my god, you invoke your patron's bewitching charm. You gain proficiency in deception and persuasion. I've got that covered, but I appreciate it. We've got Devil's Sight, Fiendish Vigor. Wow. One with shadows. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push them away. And then Thief of Five Fates. Okay, so. I think we have to do this. The extra damage is going to be fire. Okay, replace spell. The amount of spells you can have fixed in your mind is limited. As you level up, you may wish to replace old spells with new ones. Choose a spell you know and replace it with another. Interesting. Relics are really great. So our current spells are Speak with Animals and... Uh, any hands. Great. So do we need to... So the selective spell will be added to our spells and actions. Well, we were indecisive earlier, so this sounds good. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Another one. Okay, so let's just do this one by one instead of all together, which makes sense. Okay, so. Scorching Ray. Didn't we take Scorching Ray on someone else? <gasps> Misty Step! I love Misty Step. <gasps> okay, interesting. So, I I only go Fae Pact. And I haven't played a Warlock in a very long time. Okay, so I can summon a Familiar. Um, can summon a Pact Weapon. Oh, it allows me to cast Guidance, Vicious Mockery, and Thorn Whip. Well, I've, we've got two people with Guidance. And even though we're trading out Shadow Heart, I still have Guidance, so it's really not necessary. Um, I do love familiars, though. I do want Cat. Give me Cat. Oh my god, can you imagine two cats in our party? I'm screaming. Scare enemies. So if we get an Imp can sting. So hold on. A packed weapon is kind of cool. Because it did occur to me that having two cats would be great, but not very useful. So we get... 
So he uses our spellcasting ability, which should be charisma, which is good. Backbind weapon. Maybe we try this. Worst case, we change it out. This looks like the most useful to us so far. Okay. Oh, I didn't do which blade like I thought. Which bolt, excuse me, not blade. That's fine. We'll do it another time. Because we still have these two. We didn't trade out. Ooh. Very cool. Eldritch Blast is so good. It's so good. Okay, so. Wow. And uh, look at the HP. So. We've talked to everybody. We don't need to long rest yet. We need to go speak to animals with the owlbear. And find Karlak, potentially? I don't know if we have time for that today, but we'll try. So I don't want to end the day. I want to leave camp. Okay. I like how where you are dictates the kind of camp you set up, which I think is very cool. What to do? Okay, we're gonna save again because it's very important. All right, to the Albert Cave. Should mind and then my step. we'll. Grab Karlak and then do Druid's Grove. How does that sound? It was but... a time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swat me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. What festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. Ever heard of a vampire called Kazador? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. Why? He's patriarch of the Tsar family. Nasty fellow, if the histories are accurate. I imagine they are. Wait, do we see this shit? Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about some pig? It's dead. Let's go. Baby. You're staring at me again. What do you want? Not that he'd say anything. I just needed to at him a little bit. Well, bloodless pig meat. A few coarse hairs still stick out of the skin on the knee. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Oh, baby. What are you doing? Let's examine the boar's court with our medicine skill. And he's over here sweating bullets. <laughs> the boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? Oh! I don't want to charm person him. Charm person's not something you do to your friends. It's only a 10 DC anyways. <gasps> Come on. I, it's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures, but don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now, please, let's go. You'll keep watch, will you, sweetheart? All right. Let's get down here and say hello to this owlbear, presumably. Again, I haven't gone in the cave. We just walked up to it. Well, we should save.
And now we can move forward. They having a hard time with the water. <gasps> Owl bear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Are we gonna go and say hello? Yes, speak with animals is on. Oh, there's a statue of some. Oh, what's inside? That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. Heavy stone. Despite fitting easily in your hand, this rough stone has a good weight to it. All right, all right. Oh, treasures. Yeah, they do have a hard time fording. <gasps> Hello, buddy. Hi. Oh my god. Wait, he's distressed? What's the matter, babe? What a cute buddy. Hi. Can we chat? Oh. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear. Its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak, something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. I love your son very much. He's so very cute. You're injured. There's half a spear lodged in your head. It's a splinter. I've gutted bigger threats than you with worse. Well, I want to help with that. Just allow me to leave. I'm no threat to you or your cub. Oh no. This we... Uh, oh no, I don't have charm person because it's not a humanoid. We've got it. We've got it. You're small. Weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Can we help with the spear, though? Oh, and there's a little egg in the nest. How cute. Can I help you with that? Seems like a good moment to talk. I warned you, soft meat. You don't listen. No, I wanted to help with your head. So, can we? We can crawl down. I'll be damned. A shrine to Saluna. Oh, yay, yeah, somebody got it. So we can't take these things because, uh, well, it doesn't look like stealing. And that's very shiny. Anything of use? Oh, ah. this thing won't yield its contents easily. Um. Where am I needed? Can you feel there that? Magic, a spell sealed that chest tight. Saloon seal. Okay, what do we do about that? Well, let's move. If I can't have it, I can't have it, and that's fine. I will take your scroll of detect thoughts, though, and read your book. Oh, an ancient tome detailing how Selun came into being along with her sister, Shar. The silver radiant Selun and the dark alluring Shar complemented each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. Very cool. There's a book hidden behind there that I see. Potentially? It looks like a book. Yeah. 
Can I jump over there? <clears throat> nice. Thank you, boys. Oh, the kitty! <laughs> the kitty can too. A dusty volume that speaks of the conflict between the sibling goddesses of Selun and Shar. After Selun ignited the sun and brought life-sustaining light and warmth to the universe. Can I take these with me? I would really like that. I just... Something over there. What do you mean? Oh, thank you. Selenite prayer sheet. A prayer dedicated to Selun, imploring all, all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessings and share in her bounty. Just an old prayer. Maybe we take this with us and it's of some consequence? Thank you for finding that, Asterion. I love you so much. I would like to take this. Oh, hold on. Here we go. No, no, I want to take. I would like to put it in my pocket. Thank you. Cool. So I don't. I don't know how to dispel magic. I haven't come across the spell yet. I don't think you just attack a chest with magic. I always just use detect magic. Let's try it. <laughs> oh my shit! Well, I'm gonna stop doing that because that hurt a fuck ton. I'll come back for you later. Let's see what this does. Well, we said hello to the owlbear. We couldn't help her. Which feels bad. As much love as I hold for Baldur's Gate, these frontiers delight me as much as any bustling street. That's wholesome. All right. You can't be serious. This is a howling wasteland. <laughs> I haven't even had a bath since the abduction. I must reek of a lithid slime. <sighs> sure, but think of the stories you'll be able to tell. I love this man. Delicate as a flower. Okay, so there's... Oh my god, there's so many things. Um, oh, I like the way that it shows you all of your options. That's actually really cool. Okay. Yes, underground passage. I wonder if this is what connects to the tunnel we saw in there. We already saved, so we're okay. Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. What do you mean, glowing eyes? Are you talking about that? That guardian statue? Oh, that sounds bad. Rune of the Eagle. So is that something... Chapter one? <gasps> no! 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 Oh my god. <gasps> no! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, get out! <clears throat> my wounds are too much to bear. Oh my god, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Somebody help her. So, the only time I've ever had anything like this happen in actual D&D was actually playing DCC, which is called uh, Dungeon Crawler Classic. And it's like, I think if you have like a party like this, but they're all level zero peasants, right? You don't even have enough like stuff to be level one yet. And you just go through all these dungeon dives and shit, and it's wild. And there's a classic adventure that has the like laser eye statue, and uh, <laughs> I should have known better. I should have known better. Looking ahead. Can we murder the statue? I wanted to turn the statue on those people because I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the goblin area, but look at all the different statues. Very cool. I wish I could just turn it off. I think that's what that does. I'm gonna assume that's what that does. But I'm very injured now. I didn't realize that mirror image increases my armor class. That's really cool. All right, I feel really stupid attacking this statue, but I don't know what else to do, especially because that oil is gonna blow up and everything is gonna be engulfed in fire. 
because Gail and I like literally like got slappedied. Don't and we're touch me. mostly range. Watch so. your back. Okay, we're good here. We're good here. We're just gonna plink away at this fucking statue. Guardian statue took no damage because of sturdy. So what is sturdy as a modifier do? Was it teeth? Yes. Mysterio is rather strong. Only a hit that deals at least 10 damage can damage it. Oh my god. So what were we supposed to do? Were we supposed to stealth past it? Oh, Asterion, my love. You're very stealthy. Can I put you in stealth? Usually, like, if I'm playing, like, d and I'm like, I stealth, and I roll, and then I'm in stealth. <laughs> How am I? Oh, it's hide. Oh, that's not the same thing, but hide is like an actual action. But I, I understand how they're skinning it for here. All right, remaining obscured. Sticking to the shadows makes it harder to detect. Your cursor indicates, okay, goodbye. All right, so. Okay, babe, I'm gonna need you to be the stealthiest that's ever stealthed. But this is a magical entity. It might just get us anyways. I don't, we looking pretty good. Look at this adorable well, at least man. we got the druid to keep ourselves entertained. He's boring. Let's find another one. It yes. was more fun when he was screaming. Okay. Could wake him up by chopping off a toe. <laughs> That'd be funny. Wait, what? Yeah. Give him something to cry about. Don't wear his voice out. We still need answers. So I'm assuming they're talking about this individual? Can I, like, actually sneak up and initiate combat Prince with Thor a sneak attack? No one knows about this damn weapon. Excuse me? Yeah. She'll kill us dead if we go back without it. We'll get the druid talking. Grove's got to be full of magic. Hello? That's why I've been stabbing all the rats. Might be spies. You're a terrible person! Uh, can I? Pretty stubborn for a lead. Maybe okay, so I have to be close enough fire. first. Okay, hold on. We're gonna save. We should set the whole bowl off. Okay, so this is the red part where we might be detected. Could wake him up by chopping. Did some bleeding art show up to save the druid? I'll cut you to pieces. Kill him! I thought I passed! I thought I passed! <gasps> wait! Do we- wait, or is this a surprise round? Oh my god, I also need to go get my friends! I- I need my friends. Oh, I'm so... Oh. Let's- let's just stab while we're here. Wait, what do you mean? I must have advantage, but I thought I was sneaking. Why you do me like this? I can disengage though, easy. No opportunity attacks, baby. Okay, let's... Oh, you're right, I can push. It's only 40%, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> All right, is that? Oh, it, I didn't actually get to disengage. That's so funny. I thought that because we had snuck up, we were getting like traditional sneak attack damage, but apparently stealth is really rough. All right, well, at least we've got the high ground. Let's uh, move back just a little bit so we can't be targeted by bows and whatnot. Excuse me, hello, I turned you off. I turned you off. 
Yeah, I've been preferring ranged sneak attack, but I was trying to channel our like actual rogue D and D and like get up, roll sneak attack after you've snuck up. Yeah. Video games are definitely different than the way you play at the table. Oh, eel. Ha, ah, you gotta dash through the mud. Okay, so, yeah, let's do our missiles. Nice. Oh, you're gonna just gonna climb the rocks to get to me. Leave my man alone. Whew. Threw stuff at me. I need to go get my friends. Um, I thought that they would just run up. Not true. Not true. So the because they're not in combat, you're gonna stay right there, right? You stay right there, babe. Okay, drink this healing potion. That was not very much. So, uh... We're gonna have to use our spell slots. Secure wounds on ourselves. So at least we can get into combat without really worrying about it. Um, Gail, you don't but have magic. any healing because you, my oh, dear, I have the magic touch. Let's get at least that. And then let's get you into combat, buddy. Let's get up With here. Ease. And then he should get into initiative order. Hold on, hold on. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I'm gonna take <laughs> another potion. <laughs> I'm nervous. And let's get up into another initiative order. Forward. God, all the way back here. Okay, darling. Shall we cut and run? <laughs> Why is he so cute? Okay, so you, you have four HP? Oh, okay, never mind. I was like getting ready to like do some stuff. Okay, this is, can be cast at a distance, so let's go. Baby, I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need you to do more than that. A little bit, okay? I'm gonna move back here so you're harder to hit. Let's go. Yeah, they gotta crawl up and come this way, so let's funnel a little bit. Okay. So does Will just not get to go yet? Because they kind of passed over him. Leave him alone. I'm so worried about this fucking guardian statue. So Gail. Why are we skipping over everyone else? We're here, but not quite? Or was this just a sneak round? Okay, well, uh, let's get done with this. Okay, so this is a minimum of four. So I'm just gonna... There we go. All right, I'm really worried about this fucking bird, but I want to be close enough to, like, turn it off again if it does turn on. So I'm gonna hang out. Ah! Okay. You, darling, I don't think you can get up here. So, oh, but I'm so worried about dashing and having everyone, like, right here and this does turn on. And we're gonna be super fucked extra fucked so uh, but I guess I don't really have a ton of other choices yeah I'm gonna put him right in can I there that's Beautiful. good enough okay and then this person has to get up here Hello? Very cool, but could you please not do that? Okay, can I? Gail, you're just kind of right in the way, aren't you, baby? What path lies before me? All right, so 
you, I'm also not going to waste. Oh, but you're kind of far. Are that's sixty percent? The other one was forty. What else do I have? That's. I think that's it, honestly. Sixty is better than forty, though. Intended. All right. Okay, oh, leave that man alone, Gale. Okay, you've got, you've got so many spell slots. How, you've got 10? That's a lot of damage. Oh, but Thunder Wave, why it knock him back? Oh, I forget how short it is. I definitely don't want to blast the fuck out of that. Which bolt? Lightning, magic muscle though. Classic. Let's go. Torment. Mwah! All right, nice job. Okay, the eagle statue's not doing anything. Thank God, I was super worried. Okay, my love. Let's get up here so we can fire it down. Got hamstring, which is actually pretty good because I don't want these people to go anywhere. I'm kind of. You have a lot of health. Nice. Good job, baby. Okay. On the victor's path. So let's get as far up here as we can. No so time to do waste. that. He'll just go as much as he can. Nice. Okay. I don't think I can get him from here, but I'm going to try. Can you blast? No. Not enough room to blast. No blasting. Maybe I should have dashed. Because if we can't injure anybody anyways, we might as well get over here. Oh! Okay! Okay, time for me. I don't have Swift enough my feet movement, can carry me. but we're gonna do our best. Can I fire? No, I can't see. Well, I guess we got a dash. Okay. Oh my god, I sold the fucking loot on my back. Okay, so he's hamstrung, so he can't move as much. And then we're gonna have to dash for this as well. That's Let's good light them up. All right. Actually, I'm more afraid of you. I don't think I can do that yet. Okay. Now, I'll just blast. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Some healing for a wizard in need. Oh, baby, I forgot you were so delicate. All right, that's fine. We're going to finish this off. Sixty. She saved for half damage. Yeah. Okay. Asterian baby, could you clean this up? I guess not. Battle favors the fearless. There we go. Oh, can we get this man up? I'm 
Sorry, Gail. Love you. Oh, this man's covered in acid. Guys, can we get out of the gunk? Let's get out of the gunk, babies. Oh. There we go. There we go. Um, I want to be able to root around in this junk, so... Throw, right there. Where's our water? There we go. Now, we can walk around can without getting our tootsies in the gross. <laughs> Ooh, squirrel charm person. Potion of invisibility. You think this bottle was empty, but for the sound of sloshing liquid from within. That's a barrel of something. Thieves tools for my best boy. <clears throat> We've got bow, rogue's morsel, bullywug. Bullywug's real cute. Bullywug trumpet. Okay. Something good here, I hope. Skull, great axe, gross. Y'all, quit, quit walking around in that. Would you? What's? Okay. Oh, a heavy chest. So that's... Be wary. This place is trapped. Okay. Oh. Can you... Disarm? Oh. Yes, you have guidance for me. It's okay, we got this, we got this. This boy doesn't miss. All right, now we have to lockpick. Let's crack it open. It's a pretty hefty lock, though. Nice. Good job, baby. Oh, nature's snare. A quarter staff. Thread like vines wriggle along this wooden staff. It's got topple. Very cool. And then gold and A. Healing potion. Nice. Nice job, everybody. To rest. Poor Gail. I've got four more spell Locked slots. Maybe I should just no heal this man up a little this. bit. Take Just so he's not in such bad state. Take there we go. That's a little better. I just feel bad. He must not feel great. He ain't gonna walk around like that. All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. <laughs> How cute. One day I'll catch a break. Let's have a look. You know what? The lighting might be affected depending on who's selected, i.e. if we're using dark vision to look at things or not. Ooh, acid arrow. Thank you. It seems like that was the case. So we gotta go help this person. That's right. I forgot you were here, my dude. We also need to turn this off, which we might want to do first. Oh, a dead human. Um, we can jump there, but where are we going to end up? This is really cool. So let's go turn that off Here really quick. There we go. Okay. Now, gotta do the save. Something's on my mind. His breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. What am I perceiving? Oh, of, oh. All right, can I help this man? Target cannot be helped. But can I heal him though? I can cast this at spell level two, yeah. And this seems pretty important, so. Actually, wait, wait, wait. We can just use a healing potion, right? Ah, fuck me. I forgot you have to throw. 
But am I gonna hurt him if I accidentally like throw too hard? <laughs> We're good. Wait, 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 wait. Come back. We got a chat, babe. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought I was going to die down here. Was no one looking for you? No. I'd still be outside gathering herbs if I didn't run into the goblins. I must tell the others what happened. I stepped careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. Hey, 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 hey. It wasn't done. Oh, just ran away can we jump very cool oh I see you <gasps> oh so what what if where was it if everyone else minds their business Ooh. Asterian. <laughs> Asterian! Baby! <laughs> You're getting me attacked. That's a friendly looking shadow. Ready or not. Shh. Time to kill. No. You stay right there. Waste any more time. Time to press ahead. Am I still sneaking though? Okay, good. I know I see it. I'm trying to get down to deal with it. Oh, now I've put myself right in front of it and I can't actually mouse over it. Good job. Okay, well. A key! A charred key. A singed silver key held by a long dead corpse in a druid cave. And then we've got a bronze goblet. A sturdy bronze goblet, polished to the point it reflects both its contents and the drinker's features. A potion of featherfall and some gold. Alright, I think that's it. And we don't need to technically sneak anymore. <clears throat> but we're doing it anyways. Because it's stylish. We're going this way, boys. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm still sneaking. That's okay. I don't need to do that anymore. All right, so we did the goblin tunnel too. I've burned through much of my spell slots and our health is looking pretty dicey. Let's get through here. Mm. You're an impressive fighter game. You should consider a new name. I take it you have some suggestions? The Wizard Wonder. Or how about the Master of the Weed? So cute. Tempting. But I think we might already have the maximum number of theatrical titles. Oh, <laughs> don't be mean. <laughs> All right, saving again, just in case something wonky happens. All right. Here we go. Now, do we need to make our rounds all over again? Do we have new stuff? I should speak up. You're staring at me again. What do you want? He's so pouty. Okay, so I guess we don't have new stuff. All right, it's time for jammies. Seems simple enough. I'm always so nervous. Now it's time for bed. Okay. Time to chant. Do we have things now? What do you need now? Bibi, don't be mad. Don't be mad. Chuk. Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki safest can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Dang. So we have a little bit of dialogue, but not... <sighs> I 
Oh, we haven't seen Gil's jammies yet. I mean, Will. Well met. Gail and Will combined in my head. Oh my god, I'm the saddest. Nobody wants to talk. Please? How can I help? Oh, your little jammies look so comfy, Gail. Why? Not even Withers wants to talk. Oh, I'm so sad. Ooh, who has the best jammies? I like Shadowheart's jammies a lot. They don't look like the most comfortable, but they're really cute. Something the matter. We've got this one at least. I want to talk about what's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimations? I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? That's very sweet of her to say. <sighs> Cry all the tears. All right. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna save one more time. I've had a hard day. Everyone just wants to mind their own business. Nobody wants to chat. All right, let's pick our meal. I mean, I guess we could just make it easy and do camp supplies. I'm so like, sad now, just depresso mode. You don't sleep well, flitting oh. between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well... Blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. I'm... surprised that he's... as... Re Penitent and remorseful sounding as he is, right? I guess it is a very dangerous situation for him and he kind of needs us because we all have these tadpoles in our head that we need to deal with. I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the ball you snacked on. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now, too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better, please. Oh God. I'm such a pushover for this man. Of course, of course. Look at that sad boy. Oh. But, like, honestly, other than him being absolutely gorgeous and amazing and wonderful, look at the detail on his face. I love, I love the wrinkles around his mouth and for his brows. He's got a little scruff of dirt on the side and down the, down the jawline. It's just so good. It's so good. Why didn't you tell me? At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. I do. I believe you. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Uh, fine. But not a drop more than you need. Really? 
I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? Oh my gosh. Are we doing wrist? Or no, you're going, oh. <laughs> it's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Wow. So I'm very used to Vampire the Masquerade, right? Where, like, if you want to be polite, you will, like, have the vessel lay in your lap and you'll use a wrist. Um, this is definitely a more efficient form of feeding, obviously, because uh, this is going to have more coursing through it, right? But this man is definitely not a Toreador, because baby, the kiss does not hurt like that. What happens if we let him continue? All right, I, for science, am going to let him continue. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. All right, now we're going to stop him. Stop, it's too much. Oh, we have so much. We're gonna use that. I don't need to charm him, I don't think. Oh, it's a very high DC though. <gasps> it didn't give me the guidance. It didn't give me the guidance. <laughs> oh, no! <gasps> Inspiration. Oh, we've got it. Oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> uh, of course. I was just swept up in the moment. Hmm. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Did you see? Did you see the way the elves were holding their hands? It's because we're not sleeping, we're trancing. I love that little touch. Because I was thinking about how trancing wasn't really communicated very well through all of this. But that's it. That's the little nod that we, as elves, don't need the number of hours that everybody else does, really. Now, what is this little... Uh, do we have a bit of a debuff? Oh, there it is. Bloodless. Oh, shit. Rip. Hey, he's worth it. Elves, do they dream? So what elves do, because they're immortal souls, I think they relive memories from other lives and the frequency of that ebbs and flows depending on how old you are because when you're little you have a lot of those experiences from previous lives and then you kind of like don't for a good long while because you reach maturation about a hundred and it stops a little bit before that and then you live as long as you live and then towards the end of your time as an elf you start to remember your past lives again. We did do vampire shit! Happy. Well, I think we're doing good on the relationship front, if that's the debuff he gets. 
Let's talk about what happened last night, darling. Hmm. Good morning. How do you feel? Why is he so dreamy? I'm fine. I just feel a little woozy. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them, and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Interesting. Oh, he's not even full. Interesting. Obviously, yeah. Cool. That hadn't even occurred to me. Is that how you stand in the sun? Because you're not a, uh, a true vampire. Oh, no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well... <laughs> We can figure those out in time. I love him. Love my whole being. <laughs> if I can help, just ask. We're in this together. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. So we're traveling with a vampire, are we? Of course we are. Word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. <laughs> it's not funny. Fine. As long as he keeps his fangs off our necks. I trust him. He won't hurt us. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. You say all the right words, but I'm not so sure you mean the right things. Still, I will respect the decision that was made. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Poor baby. That's got to be hard. And I love coming from Vampire the Masquerade and being very well acquainted with the pitfalls of being a vampire. And, and understanding what he means when he's like, I haven't been able to do any of these perfectly mundane things for centuries. Do you know what that's like? And and I love that. I love that, it, at least from where I am sitting, I can have better perspective on that because of my other tabletop preferences. I feel like having to be a vampire in a world like this having played quite a bit of Vampire the Masquerade. He's doing so very well. I think being open about it is so dangerous. He's trying to feed on animals. He's trying to go about things in a way that doesn't necessarily hurt people. Um, and then when he is discovered, he asks very nicely. A lot of vampires that I have dealt with in a roleplay capacity over the years in Vampire the Masquerade would not nearly have been so considerate and kind. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. And he wouldn't be a good character if he was. It's hard to control hunger and he has his own roles that he's probably making. Like there are like stats about resolve and willpower in Vampire the Masquerade because sometimes it's hard to stop when that happens, it's not necessarily something that you do because you want to. You do it because the beast takes over. And that is the struggle, at least in Vampire the Masquerade, of being kindred. I love this shit. I love complicated characters. I love gray morality. We're examining a very flawed person. That's the fun of this. That's why Dritt Stoerden is kind of grating as a character because he's so perfect at everything. Being perfect gives no room for growth. It 
gives no room for imperfections, which is what makes people interesting. I know I'm so happy that we had vampire things today. I hope that each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day or night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. And of course, we gotta give credits just a little bit more because y'all have been so phenomenally generous and kind today. Thank you for choosing to spend your time here with me, hanging out and enjoying this wonderful world and the people in it. I'm having such a great time and I can't wait to continue to enjoy this adventure with you. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or my reaction content on TikTok. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.